Hello everyone, my name is Vision Rick and we are going to continue with the Elden Ring. So let's get started. This area we are going to kill a boss. And I'm pretty sure we are not going to enjoy it. This boss is really annoying, have two phases. But for now, there is a cell couple of roof we are going to loot. So let's go there for now. During this boss, give you the talisman. Another slot of talisman. And if you are a caster, you can get the really good stuff and a spell for it. For killing them. But if you are not, we still can absorb the soul and enjoy a free level up. So let's couple kill a couple of these guys. These are just golden runes. Still, like, pick him up, you know, free soul, free soul. We need 20k soul to level up. I don't think so, this cool one is going to help, but if we was early of the game, that would be helpful. So, let's equip something that you can throw. Because there's a mage and three of these guys. I don't want to be in the middle of these guys. They do bleed damage, and I don't like that. But when you do attack to them, basically they go crazy like this. Let me show you. Yep, like this. You just throw another one and hit them. Basically deactivate. Let them try hard. And just wait here and kill them one by one and make it easy. Yeah, let's go for a mage. Yeah. From here, this up, jump down, jump down again. You can simply just go, but I don't recommend it because we're going to find a really good mask. This jump is a little bit hard, but you can do that. go here go down but we're going to go there let's run oh that was close i was thinking i'm i'm dead drop myself jump here there's a still two enemies going to drop simply can kill only one attack oh they dropped the the armor not great but I mean not great <laughs> it's nothing but it's okay the set armor we have already is really good <clears throat> We are still early of the game. I know we play for more than maybe 10 hours, more than 10 hours, and definitely is still early of the game. Elden Ring is really huge. Crossbow. And jump from here. Oh, sh. What's the item up there, right? No, I don't think so. Even if there was the... Probably just the uh, golden runes. No, I don't think so there was. I was a mistake by the golden runes in here. Golden rune. Yeah, not that. That was empty. Yep. Look at the bow in my head. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Look at it. Exactly go to my ears. 
Okay, let's jump from here. And pick this up. Can open another portal with this. From here. Smithing a stone. And another jump. And another jump. Gonna go down first. Ladder was bugged for me and dropped me down. That was the reason I, I was really be careful. So let's pick this up. There's nothing up there. We're going to kill that and get the, another helmet for you, mage. That's going to give you five or six points on intelligence, but to reduce your stamina and health at the same time. Combine up between two other masks we find. Or helmet. Drop ourselves. This guy. Should be a. Uh, are you, buddy? No. Not even necessary to kill this guy, but. We are here and we need the free soul, so what the hell? <clears throat> I'm gonna take a risk and go from window. Really bad luck. Yeah, buddy. One attack, two dead. Amazing. Mage Grace. And be careful for this place. We don't want to drop ourselves down before becoming an item. Golden runes. And going to drop ourselves really, really careful. That wasn't careful. It wasn't my intention, but how does that work? So we already used one of these key for opening the door. But... <clears throat> yes we use one of this key for open door we are going to give this one to the npc it's, it's not good for npc but at least we get this stuff gonna be dead but part of the side here so not really sad about it Nicely done. Come on, go for a kill on that guy. But before we kill on that guy, we need to come here. Destroy that crystal crap. Get another helmet for mage guy, and see a lot of people use this. <clears throat> This guy is not easy, but the crossbow he has using rapid fire, so don't want to be a long fight with him. But if you stuck to him close, it's nothing basically. So let's pick this staff. And let's see. Basically, half of this place is done. But <clears throat> go fast travel here to the church. Give the key to this guy. And I'm basically killing them. I'm gonna go to the academy and learn the stuff. And yeah, become dead. I don't know, his decision, not us. <clears throat> wonderful. Apologies. Talk to him. I'm gonna talk about the stuff. And I'm not a really good sorcerer, but I wanna learn and stuff. You find the key. We appreciate it if you just give it to me and you say, okay, what key? He's just gonna talk about the key. And we are going to give him the key. Thank you. Now I can resume. Uh, they give us emotes. Buy you cool. And if you want to buy anything from it, you can buy. Even if you don't, basically, it's going to drop a sorcery bell that allow you to 
buy his item from another merchant. To this curse, I will see this guy is dead. I guess he has a wonderful life. Maybe don't, I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to fast travel, and the only thing is left to kill, but basically it's a... Uh, it was a mystic area. Fast travel. The only thing is left to... done in here. Just uh, a boss. We're going to into it. As you see, I have a really small dagger. Basically is nothing. The only thing is on it, it's uh, Ash of War that's going to give me for a couple of seconds give me a defense and attack damage I change my Ash of War in, uh, in my main weapon gonna increase my damage for, for one hit basically it's not great but it's not bad so let's go for it I don't remember but it I guess if, if you die to this boss, basically you're going to spawn to this grace again. I don't know why, but maybe that was if, if you sense you can see there's there's no statue in here to uh, you know respawn. So we have to come back to the grace. I hope we don't die. The phase one is really simple, believe me. There's just a couple of enemies have a glowing circle on them they try to throw the book at you and we're just going to attack to him and in shield of the main boss destroyed you can attack to the main boss it's a glory thing that i was talking about it and i don't recommend to use any okay, buff for the first one I was greedy, but good. Anyway, hey, damage. I was thinking maybe I can kill it. Man. One phrase, but it's gonna throw his stuff right now. We hit him, and it needs to up. Basically, gonna throw his stuff, but we killed the tree, so we destroyed the ship. So, for the phase two, you are just going, he's going to a spell. Uh, he's going to cast the spell. It's gonna hit you really hard and always do that i see always do that we're going to dodge that with the roll and then we're going to summon our skeleton to okay but still i'm not dead going to summon our skeleton put the hit for us and then okay. This guy. If he summon anything like a giant or or a dragon, basically, the only thing you need to do is that just go a little bit back, and basically you're good to go. Summon dogs. Dogs are not that much difficult to kill. the dragon just disappeared do one attack and just disappeared. it's not that much difficult to kill and we get the great rune this great rune is not possible to use 
it's not gonna increase anything for you it's not needable to activate well, the whole point of this grid run is that uh, you can reassort your stats <clears throat> imagine if you start with the mage and you get bored you want to go for string build or dexterity we find a lot of not a lot but a couple of lava tears rebirth you can give them a lava tears and reset yourself i'm good with my build it's not necessary for me to do it but if you want to do that basically you have the item for it Let's see where is it it's not a material yep we have three but still that depends on yourself only thing we need to do right now I mean the part we're going to go there it's not that much hard to do so let's go complete that area and then we can go back to the hub and trade trade item for a talisman and if you are mage you can go and trade it for staff but staff needs 16 points on the intelligent to use and the spell needs 17 intelligent points if you are intelligent player that that's for you you can and easily go there and pick those item and if you need it you can duplicate your soul and then trade it for item hmm. i'm not mage and clearly sure I, I don't have a 17 point on intelligence so basically it's not necessary for me to do that Pick up in those staff and spell is just a little bit ridiculous for me, you know? Just waste of runes and stuff. But be careful, there's a lot of trap and stuff in here. It's not gonna kill us, but you stay be careful always. I told you before, these guys can be farmed for their weapon quality weapon another person is hiding here now we can go down oh basically going up what about that oh there was an item there no problem we can pick it up later on i have a lot of soul with myself and we can pick it up now. Was it? Oh, that was a bad jump. Okay, I'm still alive. Smoking the stone. Let's see in my notes. There was nothing about this, but I guess we can jump from here. And if you have any problem with jumping, basically, pretty sure you have rainbow stone with yourself. You can just use them or to throw it. If it's broke, you're going to be dead. But if it doesn't broke and shine like this, you can jump. As I see, there is nothing else broken statue and stuff like this the details there's a couple of miner in here always like to kill these guys Maybe some of you guys don't understand the buff I use. You can see my attack is 472 by 79 by default. And my physical damage is 
a team. Mm. Can I show you that if I buff the golden runes and buff my weapon? 855 and 19. It's really good. I mean, it's not that much a big deal. You can see the buff on my weapon go, but still, the golden root is really amazing for for defense and your attack. Clearly, I cannot use this spell, so that's the reason I'm using the. Okay. Wait, these two guys come here. Clearly, I cannot use the spell of it. And we don't have it right now. So, still, if you want to use it, you can just equip it in the dagger. That's not have that much weight. And simply use it. It's really helpful. Wasn't on this boss because I have a two phase and you know I have to run away a lot. But for the other bosses, he's amazing. Don't worry about the poison. There's a grace nearby. Just want to make sure that I don't forget about any materials in this area. And <clears throat> this scrap is gonna blow up, but it's gonna give you a sleeping sun. Be careful for it. Should be an item in here if you wanna fall damage and don't die. You need this item. You see the statue, but doesn't mean you are going to fight with the boss really, really early. No. So the thing we want to do is that to go back to the hub right now. And we're going to focus this area in the next part. Basically, or maybe even in this part, I'm not really sure about it. Only you have now to become as a thing as much. Okay, we get the talisman punch, and that's really great. And you can give your remembrance to trade it with the staff you can see a 16 point on intelligence it's amazing i know but i don't know and I, I never use a mage build so but i'm pretty sure this is the greatest stuff you can find in this game and this is really good spell but need 70 point on intelligence so that's not that much early weapon that you want to use or early spell you, you want to use. <laughs> but still, if you think you are going to give a lot of points in intelligence um, right now and in these areas, you can clearly use that. Nothing is gonna stop you, but I'm not staff, so those spell and staff it's not necessary for me. So I'm just going to use the remembrance for soul. I'm going to give out me only tourniquet. And if you need two of them, basically you just need to be good to those giant. A giant I got a big building with the bell. And you can duplicate it really easy. So let's see, we are 24. Mm. No, if I wanna if I wanna start that place and go to the boss, basically become 15 minute video, so we can put it in the next part. But after this, basically this place right now, part is going to be ended. But after this, I'm just gonna go to the every merchant that's still selling items, like these guys, and buy every item from them. It's not necessary. If, if an item is important, I always tell you that buy that. Oh, remember it now. Let's see.
yes basically i'm just gonna buy every item from every merchant that's still sending something see, there was a building in here yeah there's a stone sword key on it come here and kill a death bird Clearly, I forgot about that, that building. Okay, exactly. I forgot about the building. But no problem, we still have enough stone sword key. As you see, we still have nine. So that's gonna be good. <clears throat> Let's travel here, give the last stone, last uh, death root, this NPC. We'll get the still vitality. There's a point in here. And I guess we have two build that we can give to this guy. Offer a bell and offer another bell. Bell shop. And this is another bell shop. And the other one just allow us to buy meat. As remember, we kill uh, the be bell bringer in Church of Val. So that was basically all of it. All of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day and see you soon in the next part. Peace out.